Hello friends, in this video you will get to learn what is an eutectic mixture of local anesthetics which is in short also known as EMLA. So let's begin. EMLA can be asked as an MCQ or sometimes as a viva question in the subject of pharmacology in the second year and also in the subject of oral surgery in the final year. Hence it is important to know what is EMLA. So the first thing you need to know is that EMLA stands for an eutectic mixture of local anesthetics. Next, we need to know what is an eutectic mixture. So basically an eutectic mixture is a mixture of substances in a fixed proportion and the mixture will melt and freeze at a single temperature which is lower than the melting points of its individual constituents. EMLA is used as a local anesthetic and it contains lignocaine and prilocaine in a ratio of 1 is to 1 by weight. 5% EMLA cream contains 2.5% of lignocaine and 2.5% of prilocaine. We just now learned that EMLA is a topical anesthetic. So without needle insertion, just by the application of EMLA cream, intact skin and mucous membranes can be anesthetized. EMLA cream can be applied before needle insertions to make the procedure less painful. It is also useful in needle phobic patients and in pediatric patients. EMLA can be used both in the field of medicine as well as in dentistry. Indications for the use of EMLA in medicine can be before IV cannulation and before procedures like split skin grafting. Next coming to the indications of EMLA in dentistry. The palatal injection is one of the most painful injections. This is because of the abundant nerve supply of the palate. Hence, the topical anesthetic EMLA can be used here before needle insertion to make the procedure less painful. Though EMLA can be an effective local anesthetic, it is less frequently used in dentistry. This is because of its bitter taste. Finally, let's see the contraindications of EMLA. So, EMLA is contraindicated in patients with congenital or acquired methemoglobinia. This is because EMLA contains prilocaine and it is a known methemoglobinia inducing agent. It is also contraindicated in infants who are less than 12 months of age and are on treatment with methemoglobinia inducing agents. Please subscribe our channel Dento Friend for more such videos and do hit the bell icon.